Hi everybody and welcome to the vegan dinner party. Today we are joined with Rasheem. Rasheem, how are you? Very well, thanks Aisha. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So what are you making for us today? Okay, so I'm doing two really interesting things. Uh, one of which is a snack, that is avocado with a beetroot cracker and some scallions. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a very wintry, very hearty kind of dish. Salad could get away with the main course also. It's quinoa, burger wheat and white rice mm -hmm. cooked together, rounded off with some mint, parsley, paired with some squash and a little shallow. That sounds so good. <laughs> it sounds you, absolutely so delicious. Much. So is it something that you've created yourself or that was inspired through family? Uh, this is something I came up uh, by myself, you know, it was, it obviously took a long time to actually get it right mm -hmm. because there are a lot of different ingredients, they got to work together, they got to pair together. So yeah, it, it just looks so pretty. So basically the colours of the rainbow. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I want to taste that rainbow, yes. so we should really should get to it. it. Awesome. <laughs> yep, so you put in the butternut, butternut squash and now you're adding carrots. The carrots go in. Okay, so how long are you going to be putting in the butternut? Uh, 15 minutes tops. You still want it crunchy, you still want it lower. cooked but not mushy. So I'm just going to scrape that. Alright, so... Goes. In. The next steps after that. It's going to be a dip that you're going to love. Yeah. I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm excited. This one can go in 180 15 minutes. Okay, so what are we doing now whilst the butternut is in there? So the squash and cats are cooking now, and I'm going to show you a very interesting avocado dip. Super easy to make it. Just home. avocado? It's, guacamole? No, 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 no. It's, it's a lot more than that. Okay. <laughs> so, obviously, fresh avocados. You take a lot of spring onion oil and it's seasoned with beetroot peels if that makes sense it's very early mm -hmm. super fresh because of the avocado and the beetroot peels just give it really good body in a way mm -hmm. which is all mixed and then i make really interesting beetroot crackers so it's basically rice and beetroot cooked together then you cook it in the oven at a very low temperature for a little while so you made those yourself? Yeah, 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 it just works. So they're kind of like tortilla chips? Uh, in a way. Without the corn, with the rice, yeah, it is, but it's even better. I can hear that sizzling. <laughs> yes, it's, it's done. It's nicely done. You're just going to have to peel it off. It smells amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look at it, look at the tops. It's just going to taste so nice. So, so I fresh. never realized you could eat the carrot tops. <laughs> you do much. so much with it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we can create oils with it. Yeah, so the rice is ready. Yeah. And uh, the rice, the grains are ready. We're just going to mix them up, season it, and just mix it all together. Okay, so this looks absolutely amazing. Right, thank you, thank you. So it's quinoa, bulgur wheat, and wild rice cooked yeah. and mixed together. A lot of green, a lot of herbs. Uh, I'm going to season it with salt. And I'm going to round this off with some almonds, just yeah. for that right crunch. Replace it with peanuts or any other seeds or anything you want. And the final touch is the squeeze of good lemon. Perfect. So you're gonna dish this up? Yes. I'm gonna Okay, this guys, up. do you wanna have a try? Oh, sorry to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Just dig in. I'm gonna grab mm -hmm. another one. Perfect. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in today. This has been the amazing Rasheem. And yeah, hope to see you next time. Bye.